MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Cincinnati Reds and the New York Yankees. The Yankees look to end this three-game interleague series with a sweep next. Masahiro Tanaka is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy certainly could be one of those horses for courses kind of guy. Loves pitching at home. Take a look at those home road splits. They're pretty good. Without question, he's more comfortable pitching at home than he is on the road. Now at the plate, Mark Payton. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for Cincinnati, the center fielder, Mark Payton. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've been in a nice little groove winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, Dior, that's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. One ball, two strikes. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. Oh, man, he's been absolutely that's getting exactly. overmatched at the plate the last good. couple of games. Yes, that's his know. fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Standing in now, Jesse Winker. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Here's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. One home run and three driven in. The wind up and the 0 1. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Right fielder looking up and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Second home run early in the year. As the Reds strike first, it's one to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that, and they take the lead. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Nope. Well oh. above the letters with the fastball that time. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, d -Row, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. Here it comes, 2-0. Hey. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. One out, nobody on. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. That Nevertheless, there are the two away now. Number seven, a Eugenio at the plate, Eugenio Suarez hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. First delivery to him on the way. Good pitch there on the inside black called the strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh and two, the count to Suarez.
And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. The next 0 2. He swung on and missed strike three. Trevor Bauer, the California born right hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first Yankee. inning. Here comes Brett Gardner Brett now as he'll lead things off Brett. in the home first. Gardner. Now here's the pitch. Nope. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game. And they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. And this will be fouled away. Fouled off. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Full count still. Now a cut fastball, and this is over, but low. It's ball four. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants that to get off on the right foot here. The, the last base. thing he wanted Laser. was to walk the leadoff man. So red. Into the box now, Torres. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch, Mother's on the going. move for second. That's a strike to throw down, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Looks like they're trying to be aggressive on the base pass in order to get that run back they give up on the top of the first. I like that, especially early in the game. So we'll see if they can drive him in now. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0 and 2. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting third, the third baseman, number 29. Digging in, Gio Urshela, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Gardner takes his lead at third with one away. And that's in there for his strike one and one. One and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Yeah. And that's more of a slurve than a slider, but whatever it is, it's one and two. And it's fouled away. A 
Bowman trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Grounder down the line at third. And this will be a base hit as they, too, will play to run in the first inning to tie up the ball game early. No, you try and execute a pitch, Dan. I'll more. leave you to answer that. But right there as a batter, Jerry. you see the infield back. You take everything, all the variables into consideration. You're not trying to do too much. Anything on the ground that stays off the corners gets you an RBI. Now mix in the fact that it found the hole, and he's got a knock to go with it. You know, it's so frustrating as a pitcher, d -Row. You think what you make is a good pitch. Infield playing back, a ball is able to sneak through. A base hit and a run batted in. So close, but yet so far from getting out of that inning unscathed and he won't bite at that point either it's 2 and 0 his numbers against Trevor Bauer he's just one for six two and 0 count here it comes right side but it's going to be a foul ball runners on first with one down Two and two now. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good right fastball field. right by. Right. Brings the express. Not no bad. chance to put that ball in play. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hey. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. A runner on first with two away. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We move ahead to the top of the second now, all tied at one and one. So striding in, Mike Moustakis. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. Moustakis, or just Moose for short, he was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number two, Nick Castellano. Nick Castellanos now comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. First offering on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard, but right into the shift. And that's through for a hit. 
He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. To the plate now, Aristides Aquino. And she'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the Yankees have dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete a sweep, particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive, so a sweep at home would be extra special. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. This is in the air out to right. Tuckman is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting eight. The shortstop, Freddie Galvin. So a runner at first with two away, and up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvis. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's a ball. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. That evens it up one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. To two balls and two strikes now. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. One left for Cincinnati. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied at one. Stepping up now, Luke Voigt. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. First delivery to him on the way. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, two is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. A little low. It's two and two. Fouled away. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. In the air, out to right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting seven. The left fielder, John Carlo. Now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Oh. 
Two balls and no strikes. The count to Stanton. Two and one after the foul ball there. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And another foul ball. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Number 44 has to come in from the next area code to put this one away. Wow. Batting eight. Not shortstop. Tyler. Way. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. First pitch of the at bat. Oh. Got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though they're two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. I got the count one and two. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. The 2-2. Two -two. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. He'll get it into second, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Batting hey, after that hit right that, there, Dio, that hitter. extends his hitting Big streak deal. to six games. Yeah, no I'm doubt about hard. it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Oh, as he'll take a look at ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Now that's popped up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Digging in the switch hitter, Tucker Barnhart, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Barnhart. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. one fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike you rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man as a hitter probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again a wind up and the 0-2 pitch and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning The center fielder, number 34. Digging in, Mark, Mark Payton. 0 for 1 for Payton. him here in this one. First offering on its way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Strike two as he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. 
in my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hit to first. He's got it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Jesse Winter. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. First pitch on its way. Ball, that's in. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and no strikes to the Reds DH. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2-0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. After two and a half, it remains a 1 1 ball game. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. The center fielder, Brett Gardner. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The 1-2. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Swing and a liner. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Now batting. The second baseman. Waver. Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. Count even now at 1 and 1. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Runner, runner, runner. going. He swings and misses. Throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. The 1 2. And the slider bounces, and that'll get on by. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Here now the 2-2. Hit high and deep out to left field. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Second home run early in the year, and it gives the Yankees a 3-1 to one lead.
the bat. Number 29. Count one and, oh. and he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. The Yanks had a lot of success at the plate yesterday. A double digit hit total as a team. So they'd like to make that happen again as they go for the sweep. This one isn't in the books yet, but when you're going for the sweep and you have a nice lead like they do early on here, things are looking awfully good for the sweep department. Yeah. Strike taken up in the zone. No outs, nobody on. Popped up. Barnhart moving to his left. One out. Now batting. The catcher. Gary. Sanchez. Digging in to try it again. Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. The windup and the 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. Still only one out in the inning. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll make it into second as he just misses the home run, but he'll settle for two bases. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Into the box now, Mike Tuckman. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. One out and a runner on second base. Lined into right, a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so their runner's at the corners now no, with one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, D-Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Flyed out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Voigt swings the bat and throws from the right side and stands at six foot three. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. And it's two balls and two strikes now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Full count now. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. Really, Avato's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. We played three full. It's now three to one, Yanks. Digging in, Joey Votto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 
Hey, Yo, we're still in the early Florida. stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate on fire. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Stanton has to run a ways before he gets there in time to record the out. How about that? The third baseman, number seven, a Eugenio Suarez. So the base is empty here with one away. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. The 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. And that's He's the out. second out. The batter number nine, second baseman, Mike Mustaka. So two are gone now for the Reds in their half of the fourth. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Mustakas. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Even hey. one and one count to Mustakas. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. No two offer balls. on that one. one. Two balls and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Reds are down in order. They still trail it here three to one. Giancarlo Stanton now leading off for the Yankees. One of the keys to securing the a win. Fielder. They want to keep the Giancarlo. pressure on and try to build that lead as much That's as they fair. can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at bat. 1 0. Now the 1 0. Fouls this one off. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Home run number five on the year as the Yankees have taken a four to one lead.
Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. So now to the play, Tyler Wade. Tyler. And he puts it on the ground Wade. to second. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. Man, I feel now for back. him, but you've got to call a spade a spade, right? Big he's really struggling. I'm the sample size hard. is three-plus innings, and in that time, he's given up eight hits. So it might be time to cut your losses and make a change out there. Here's Miguel Andujar now. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1 0 home. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Yeah, batting averages are much better 1 0 in a count than they are when the count is That's even. They opted Number to go with a pitch out to lead off the Red. at bat, and it obviously Yonker. cost them. No real damage done yet, but now they've even got a tougher situation to deal with. Red Skipper up out of the dugout and making that slow trek to the mound. And he's going to make the change here. That's going to be all for Trevor Bauer. So he'll beat an early retreat here this afternoon as he could never really get into the flow of the ball Your game. Lucas Sims now answers the call Cincinnati. from the pen here in the fourth Number as they 39. didn't get the outing they were Lucas. hoping for from their starter. Yeah. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. One and no pitch on the way. fly ball out to straightaway center center fielder giving chase and the play is made but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up so add one more on the sack fly as that'll make this a five to one game ah but the throw is well up the line up and a second base. run's gonna score the second baseman waiver go red So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. And now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Three runs already home here. 2 0 now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. The pitch. He nope, loses him on ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that Alabama. last pitch was Number really 29. good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. One for two. It was an RBI base hit for him back in the first. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 
slow roller down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And that misses 1 and 1. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2 and 1. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Number 44 is there, and he has it for the out. Now batting, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in and looking for more, Gary Sanchez. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he takes ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Now the 2-0. Chopper to short. Galvis is there. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Yankees lead it 6-1. to one. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off with the Reds, the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. Here comes the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Aye. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher able to pound the zone with all different options. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. 
Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. No he had to stare down Number a four, really four. good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Stepping in now, Aristides Aquino. As he'll take a look at his sinker here, too low for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. Slap hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, D. Rowe, that's a one out single right there. And hey, the pitcher the hasn't pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully. That runner right there can get his attention a little bit more diverted on first base and then he leaves a cookie over the middle of the plate. Now a move over to first just keeping him close. At the plate now Freddie Galvis as it's on the ground toward the hole. There's one. On to Voigt, an inning-ending double play. Reds go down quietly. They trail 6-1. to one. Ready for another shot now. Mike Tuckman, he singled his last the time up. Mike Tuckman. First offering on its way. Hey! The 0 1 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. The 1 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now batting, the first baseman, Luke Boy. Digging in once again, Luke Voigt. He's flied out and hit into a double play in two at bats. First pitch on its way. In there for strike one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Voigt is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. The three and one pitch. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. There's nope. ball four. Take your Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have now to wonder if maybe it's personal. No you can't blame him for Just being ball angry, ball. but he's got to find a way to Just move on bad. and focus on the next batter. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Giancarlo Stanton. He went deep last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Runners on first with one down. On, he pops it up. And that's in there. Base hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. And this is going to wind up as extra bases, as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. Just a great at bat there. That one out double gets a run across. Now, and now they've got that runners at second and third and are one solid swing away I'm from making hard. this a real big inning. At the plate, Miguel Andujar as he sends it on the ground to first. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett Gardner. Looking to minimize the damage here. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Second and third, two away. Line drive to left. Castellanos will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. The Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double through five innings and the lead is stretched to seven to one in now Tucker Barnhart and through five turns at bat they've only Pretty mustered a total of three hits not terrible but they're certainly not firing Barnhart. on all cylinders well it's getting a little bit too late in this game but this continues like this in today's game with so many dominant bullpen arms you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. One and one count. Here's the pitch. And this pitch misses to the Reds catcher. Now two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. I got and a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter's aboard to start the sixth. Boy, oh boy, that's a that's tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering, Mark. where the heck was that pitch? Hated. I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now, and stepping in, Mark Payton. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Nobody out, runner on first. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Nope. Maybe too much break on the slider. Yeah, two and one. one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Two, 
2 1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2 and 2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely now lost at the plate, but flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Into the box, Jesse Winker, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. The 2 1. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Runner at first here, one man out. Two two pitches fouled away. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Shot toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. I'll How tell you that's one of the first good thing. swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runners are at second and third with one down. A 1-1 count to the Reds' first baseman. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Swing and a miss on the splitter, and it's one and two. Hey, there's a ton of reasons I could give to you as to why this guy has been such a good pitcher in his career. But I think this is the biggest That's one. It. His That's ability it. to work out of nasty jams. Two guys in scoring position right here. Interested to see how he works out of this. Here now the 2-2. It is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box now, Eugenio Suarez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1-0. Nope. He's been really effective in this one so far. But it's interesting here that with a couple of guys on base, he seems to be not trusting his stuff quite as much. Kind of messing around the strike zone a little bit. Runners at second and third with two gone. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Oh. 
Ground ball sent back up the middle. Torres has it. On to first, and the Reds' rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees seven, and the Reds one. At the plate, Torres. He'll get things Lee started go. here Torres in the second Yankees. half of the sixth. The second baseman, Waver. Torres. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Ball that fastball just misses. That's ball one. From the windup, the one one pitch. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike, three and two now. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Now back. Not a whole lot to say Number about 29. that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a look at a slider in the dirt, and it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ball two now. Hey, you want to talk about being in his zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Let's it fly 2 and 0, but this one's by him for the first strike. Heading out towards shallow right. And that'll get down for a base hit. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there, D. Rowe. It's He's turning a now April Kepler. showers into May flowers right now. There's no doubt about it. That's this guy has gotten off to a hot start. But it's his ability to use the whole field. That's what's made the difference. He's not just pull happy or trying to push everything the other way. He's taking what the pitcher's giving him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Count one and open. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Peyton is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Up next for the Yankees, the right fielder, Mike Tuckman. Standing in, Mike Tuckman. He's working on a one for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Votto is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The Yanks leave one. They're on top seven to one. Now 
now at the plate, Mike Moustakis. who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 0 and 1 the count. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. Nope. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Set to deliver the 0-1. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly, barehanded for one on the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away now. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. So base is empty now after the double play and that'll bring up the outfielder Aristides Aquino ready to deliver here's the first pitch and he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1 I think when a team starts struggling certainly offensively it's just guys try and play above their pay grade know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. No, that's, that's over, bad. but low, it's a ball and a strike. Hey. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Ball two. Ball two. two balls, two strikes. Hit hard back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. This one pretty well in the bag. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Yankees seven and the Reds one. Michael Lorenzen enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 21. Michael Lorenzo. Last half of the seventh here. Striding in Leading once up. again. Luke Voigt. No hits for him yet in the game base. despite his team's Boy. offensive onslaught. Boy. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him out with a cutter and he gets him to swing through it. One strike. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as a lefty's begun to heat up down there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh, 
boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Lorenzen has made a name for himself as a very effective reliever in his career, but he really doesn't fit the bill as a prototypical bullpen arm. So many guys bringing huge strikeout numbers these days, he isn't one of them. No, he's not, Matty V, but what he does do, he does a great job of missing barrels of the bats. He changes speeds, moves the ball in, out, up, and down, not overpowering, but he knows how to pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball and it's two and one now. Now here's the pitch. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Good eye to lay off the slider there and he works it to full three and two here. And it's fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. Fouled away. And he'll lay off the cut fastball here as this misses off the plate for ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's now better bad. to battle a slugger That's like that stop. to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where Way. he can really hurt you. Stepping into the box, Tyler Wade. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. From the stretch. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Ball. Count is one and two now. Comes set. Now the pitch. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout, and there are two away. Now fast right and forward now hitter. is the DH. Begin. Miguel Andujar. He's Andujar. got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here it comes. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Stanton is on his way home. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. One left for the Yankees. They're on top seven to one. Into the box, Freddie Galvis. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep. And at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. 
And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. You talk about bragging rights. Two cities that love their baseball teams. And geographically, they match up. Even though they're not division foes, it's for bragging rights. And this is what it's all about. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting. Catcher, Tucker, Barnhart. In now for the Reds, Tucker Barnhart. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there 1-0. Well, 2 and 0 now. Next pitch here will be number 100 through 7 and a third. Man, I'd love to see a complete game. He's certainly on his way. If he can keep the number down, the pitch count down, he's got a shot at this. Yeah, yeah Dero, this is every manager's dream spot right now. You're you're one out into the eighth inning. Your starter's giving you some good baseball, and you could go to your better relievers now towards the end of the ball game. This is set up perfectly right now. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The center fielder, number 34, Mark Payton. Into the box now, Mark Payton. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. Red center fielder in front with a 2 and 0 count. Now, when you've got a six run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. Two out, nobody on. And that catches the outside corner. It's 2 and 1. Into right field, that's a base hit. Now batting, designated hitter, Jesse Winter. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound, and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll leave after a strong seven and two thirds here as he'll hope the bullpen can get the final four outs to secure his victory. Your attention, please. So now they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Britain. Stepping in now, Jesse Winker. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Now the one and one pitch. That Two ball balls and a strike. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Fouls this one off. Oh. 
fouled off. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Reds leave one. They're down seven to one. Stepping in, Brett Gardner hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but Yankees. it resulted in a line out. The center fielder. Yeah, Maddie, but as he Brett. walks to the plate right here, he Gardner. feels good building off that last AB. Oh, he awesome. hit that ball on the screws. One ball, no strikes to count. Hey. In for a strike, it's one and one. Popped up. Barnhart is calling for it. One away. Now That's back. exactly what they the wanted out of that pitch up in the Wait, zone. Bro. They took him up the ladder Go and around. he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So digging in now, Torres. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Sliced hard on the ground, fielded by Mustakis. And there are two away now. Now batting, number 29. Settling in now, Gio Urshela. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. This Not one's bueno. outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Nope. Two balls That's and no ball. strikes. Ball nope. Three, three and oh. Yep. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Pitch on the way. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. It was obvious when the count ran the 2-0 that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. First pitch coming, here it is. Two out with the man at first. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Ready with the one and two. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. 
The Yanks leave one. They're on top seven to one. In is Joey Votto now. He'll start things out against Britain as he looks to close it out. Joey Votto. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The 1 0. The bouncer to the left side. He's got it. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Hey, anytime you can get through seven innings, Matty V, that's really a good quality start. Into the eighth inning, wasn't able to get out of the eighth, but he's still in line for the win. Needs a little help from his guys in the bullpen now. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Now here it comes. Didn't get on top of the sinker at all. If that's what it was trying to be, it stayed high. And the pitch on two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. And easy take there. It's three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Sinker misses, ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Ready now for Cincinnati. Mike Mustakis. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Whoa, that's him. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Torres at the bag. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series. Breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. Seven to one the final today. The New York Yankees led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Masahiro Tanaka notches his third win of the year. Trevor Bauer struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.